I, JVN Smitika Chatwal, Assistant Professor in Jyoti Vidyapeet Women's University, Jaipur, is here to deliver the lecture on course dispersion, which is in third unit of physical pharmaceutics. Now, today's our topic is course dispersion. Now, this is the continuation of the previous lecture from course dispersion. Today, we are going to study about emulsions because in previous lecture, we studied mm, suspensions. Now, the topic is emulsion. What are emulsions? Emulsion is a dispersion of at least two immiscible liquids, one of which is dispersed, uh, one of which is dispersed as droplets in the other liquid and stabilized by an emulsifying agent. Emulsions are subdivided arbitrarily into three types based on the droplet size. In macro emulsions, the droplet size usually exceeds 10 nanometer. In the case of mini emulsion, the droplet are in the size range of 0.1 to 10 nanometer. And in micro emulsion, the, the uh, droplet are below 100 nanometer. So the mm, by this, we can divide uh, emulsions into three types. What are these three types? Macro, micro, and mini emulsions. And their size ranges differs. In macro, the size usually exceeds 10 nanometer. And in case of mini emulsions, the droplet are in size range of 0.1 to 10 nanometer. And in micro emulsion, the droplets are below 100 nanometer, right? Now, we study about due to small droplet size of the dispersed phase, the total interfacial area in the emulsion is very large. Since the creation of interfacial area ensures, ensures the total interfacial area in the emulsion is very large. Since the creation of interfacial area is very large, since the creation of interfacial area incurs a positive free energy, the emulsion are thermodynamically unstable and the droplets have the tendency to collapse. Therefore, the presence of an energy barrier for stabilizing the droplet is required. Surfactants are most be used to stabilize emulsion and they are called as emulsifier or emulsifying agent, right? In suspension, there, will, there are suspending agents. Now in emulsion to stabilize them, there are emulsifying agents that stabilize the emulsion, right? Now, what are the types of emulsion? Based on dispersed phase, they are of three types, right? Uh, oil in water, water in oil, and oil in oil. Oil in water, oil droplets, which are dispersed in water, so that can be called as oil in water emulsion. And what will be in water in oil emulsion? Water droplets dispersed in oil. This phase is known as what? Water in oil emulsion. In oil in oil emulsion, polar oil, for example, propylene glycol that will be dispersed in a non-polar oil. For example, paraffinic oil. Here, polar oil has example propylene glycol and non-polar oil has that example paraffinic oil. Right? Based on numbers of phases, the there is a multiple emulsion, which is also a type of um, emulsion. In multiple emulsion, there will be oil in water in oil, and the second type is water in oil in water, right? Okay. Now, uh, in water in oil in water, what will happen? The oil is dispersed in water, and that droplet is further dispersed in oil. And in water in oil in water, the water uh, is uh, 
dispersing oil droplet and that um, or this droplet is dispersed in further water okay so that prepare water and oil and water emulsion now means of detection of in on emulsion type by which means we can detect uh, emulsion there are five means by which we can detect the emulsion and these five types are first one is dilution test second one is conductivity test third one is dye solubility test and fourth one is fluorescence test and the fifth one is filter paper test this uh, mm, mm, about emulsion and suspension we also learn in b farm first year right and these tests are also learned in b farm first year so all we know about these tests so now we uh, come to theories of emulsion there is uh, the first theory is interfacial tension theory fine dispersion of oil and water requires large area of interfacial contact and to achieve this amount of work need to be done which is equal to the product of interfacial tension and area change delta w is equals to lambda delta a reduction of interfacial tension leads to decrease in the interfacial free energy which in turn helps to achieve thermodynamically stabilization now theories of emulsification can be come under any examination okay so this topic is important interfacial film theory now second is interfacial film theory now in interfacial film mm -hmm. theory coalescence of droplets now what is coalescence aggregation right coalescence of droplets can be prevented by formation of films around each droplet of dispersed material and this film forms a barrier that prevents the coalescence of droplets so uh, there will be no aggregation right this film should also possess some degree of surface elasticity so that it does not break when compressed between two droplets if broken it should form again rapidly now the third theory is electrical double layer theory presence of a wall developed charge on the droplet surface increases stability by causing repulsion between approaching drops this charge is likely to be greater if ionized emulsifying agent is employed for example iv pack emulsions are stabilized with lecithin due to the electrical repulsion in an oil and water emulsion stabilized by sodium so the hydrocarbon tail is dissolved in the oily phase and ionic head are facing the continuous aqueous phase as a result the surface of the droplets is studded with very charged carboxylic group this produces a surface charge on the droplet the cations of opposite charge are oriented near the surface now what are the cations that have positive charge in it right producing a double layer of charge the potential produced by double layer creates a repulsive effect between the oil droplets and thus hinder coalescence so coalescence doesn't happen this is the theory electrical double layer right now what are the examples of emulsifying agent now the emul uh, the examples of emulsifying agents are very important because they come under mcqs of any examination if it can be it can be gpat it can be railway pharmacist or any other pharmacist sbi pharmacist right so uh, um, uh, the examples are very important so first is carbohydrate materials in carbohydrate materials the emulsifying agent Uh, example are gasia tragacan agar and pectin right these are the examples of carbohydrate material now those uh, emulsifying agent which are obtained from protein substances that are gelatin egg yolk casein right now high molecular weight alcohol that uh, leads to the example styrile alcohol cetyl alcohol glycerol monosterate right 
Now, what are the examples of wetting agents that also comes under uh, emulsifying agents that are anionic, cationic, and non-ionic wetting agents? Now, a finely divided solids also comes under emulsifying agent. The examples of finely divided solids are bentonite, magnesium hydroxide, aluminum hydroxide. Okay. These examples are very important. So please learn or make a star note on it. Emulsion formulation by HLB method. Now, this is the topic. Emulsion formulation by HLB method. Now, what is HLB? What is the full form of HLB that can be come under the MCQ question? The full form of HLB is hydrophilic lipophilic balance, right? So, and you will learn about HLB value in uh, various steps, okay, in the farm level, right? Uh, surfactants are most widely used to stabilize pharmaceutical emulsion because of their well-marked emulsifying properties, right? And what is the main important surfactant? That is SLS, right? So please make sure to uh, learn one example of each category, like surfactant has an example of SLS, right? The amphiphilic nature of surfactants can be expressed in terms of an empirical scale, so-called hydrophilic-lipophilic balance system. That is established by whom? Griffin. That is established by Griffin in which year? 1949. So uh, this will be also an important question for MCQ that uh, who established the HLB system and in which year, right? Now, a good emulsifying agent should have a limited solubility in both the oil and water phases of the system. Surfactants having HLB values from 3 to 6 are generally lipophilic and produces water and oil emulsion. And those agents with HLB values from 8 to 18 produce oil and water emulsion. So HLB, by determining HLB value, we can determine the emulsion, the type of emulsion, if it is water and oil emulsion or if it is oil and water emulsion. Okay. Now, Emulsion formulation by HLB method has typical surfactants with their HLB values used as emulsifying agent. Uh, and this will have a table. And according to a table, uh, which will be available at any, uh, at any uh, uh, Google surfing uh, way, we can write HLB values, then a table uh, is there in which a class of uh, uh, SLS or uh, the glass of a surfactant is there and what will be the agent and what will be the HLB value of it is given in that table. For example, fan 20, which is also known as sorbitan monolaurate that have a HLB value of 4.3, right? Okay, so please go through the table of HLB value. Okay, now what are the factors that affect the type of emulsion? Now, uh, thank you for uh, this lecture. This is it. And uh, if uh, make sure to write short notes about this topic. And uh, if you have any queries, please uh, comment below. And uh, please let me know, do you like the lecture or not? So thank you. We will learn factors affecting type of emulsion in our next lecture. Thank you so much for your cooperation.